Back in Lagos, the government has restricted trucks and articulated vehicles from plying the road and has ordered that their activities be restricted to between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. The government believes this would reduce road crashes and death on the state's roads. Correspondent Theophilus Elema reports. The haulage industry in Nigeria plays a critical role in the economy. But the road crashes involving articulated vehicles are distressing. This leads to high rates in fatality and overall negative multiplier economic effects aside environmental pollution. Our 2016 data by the Federal Road Safety Corps reveals that trucks, tanker and trailer accidents were put at 1,637, 359 and 657 respectively. These scary statistics are even more overwhelming with recent incidents on the Lagos roads. It is for this reason the Lagos state government is holding this stakeholders meeting. A high percentage of road crashes involve articulated vehicles, involving articulated vehicles are caught by human error. Our statistics have shown that in 2018 we recorded 1,671 crashes accident and in 2019 we recorded 1,934 accidents. Hence, driver training, retraining and recertification is highly required, especially as it relates to drivers of articulated vehicles. What is actually paramount is the safety of uh, the road users and that's what we've been battling with in the last few years as regards the AVOC these tankers and trailers have been causing on our roads. But the chairman association of maritime truck owners, Rami Ogunbemi, is unhappy with this development. He is calling for the use of automation in solving the problem. Most of the things we are doing manually, we should move away from analog way of doing things and move on to digital. So if we digitalize most of the operation, it will help immensely to reduce the gridlock. The government says it has embarked on development of critical infrastructure. The Lagos State Government also wants stakeholders in the transport sector to work with it and implement the agenda as it seeks to reduce road crashes. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.